many people do you think it takes to hammer out a global climate summit? 500, 5000, 50000? Well, apparently the correct answer is 70000. That's how many people arrived to attend COP28, the UN Climate Summit in Dubai. Rishi Sunak, David Cameron and King Charles are just three of the more than 70,000 delegates from nearly 200 countries. But what caught the attention of the public was the fact that hundreds of these leaders travelled there by private jet. In fact, UK Prime Minister, Foreign Secretary and King Charles even travelled in three separate planes. If we just talk about COP27 that was held in Egypt last year, around 315 private jet journeys took place. The number is huge, mainly because few world leaders attended the COP summit as many of them were busy at the G20 summit in Bali. But why is this of concern? Flying is already one of the most carbon-intensive forms of travel. This is because of the emission from the burning of jet's fuel and also because vapour trails help create high-altitude clouds which trap most of the heat in the atmosphere. And private jet travel is the most polluting mode of all, consuming lots of fuel yet carrying very few passengers. Many climate experts say that use of high-profile private jets clearly contradicts the climate conference's goal. It signals a disconnect between the environmental concern and individual action, risking public opinion influence. In fact, several research suggests that public do not take climate action very seriously if they feel that their leaders are not doing their bit. For a journey from London to Dubai, private jet travel is 11 times more polluting than of a commercial aircraft, 30 times more than train and 52 times more than coach travel. The utilization of private jet by leaders at climate negotiations sends an adverse message to the world, undermining the urgency and sincerity of global climate efforts. It highlights the need for leaders to prioritize sustainable travel options, aligning their action with the environmental commitments they advocate for on a global stage. If you like this video, then like, share and subscribe to Mirror Now.